Brian Carper here with your tip of the week. Today I want to go over identifying brush uh, with your GPS. Um, when you're driving or idling down the lake, it's really easy to identify. You want to look for a big pile or a big mound uh, of structure on the bottom of your depth finder. Uh, it's very difficult if, you, if you're not used to seeing it or looking for it. Uh, I've taken out many clients ago, I just don't know what I'm looking at. Um, but it's not very hard uh, once once someone shows you, as we're going to do here today. Uh, we're going to be going over a spot right here in a minute where you'll see the brush pile. Um, the trick is the brush has, has to be connected to the bottom. Um, if, the, if you see a big pile of stuff and it's not connected to the bottom, then that's bait uh, off the surface, a school of bait. Um, so the, the structure the trees, the mound that you're going to see under depth finder has to be attached to the bottom. Uh, right, what we see right here, obviously, it's uh, 8.5, and we're on a point where there's brush right on the, the drop of the point. And as I maneuver around here, we're going to go right over a big brush pile, and I'm going to point out and show you exactly what we're looking at. Okay, looks like it's coming in. When you start seeing little red stuff like this coming in, uh, that, that's a clue that you're starting to go over the tree. Uh, looks like if I'm going to cut it over here just a little bit, we're going to start going over it. This is all just bare. This is the dirt drop off. We've got some trees out here right on the drop. Now here they come. Now, as you see, it's starting to pile up on the bottom here, and we're starting to see it right now. You see how all this stuff starting from the bottom all the way to the top is, uh, this is your brush. If I was to continue driving forward, it's going to uh, come off and uh, clear off the screen. Now, what you're seeing here, these are little fish. See these little arches? These are little fish that are hanging around this tree. This is the big tree right here. We are exactly right on top of it. Uh, the, the sonar or the transducer runs at about a, uh, an angle uh, which is pretty much the size of your boat. I don't remember the exact angle. It's different for different depths that you're in. Um, but nevertheless, if you use your boat as a reference, usually if you see it, it's right underneath your boat uh, or pretty close to it. Um, right here is where we would drop a buoy over and um, start a... Uh, dropping some minnows and some jigs down for crappie. Uh, I'm going to back up. Here it is one last time as we as we uh, move away from the structure. It looks like there's a lot of fish hanging on the structure there and on the, this ledge. And now we're getting away from it. So when you see that, that that is bait. I mean, that is your tree there. Um, everything that we saw. And once you stick your line down there and start fishing it, you'll start getting snagged on it. And that will just, uh, uh, for certain, more so you know, give you confidence that that's where the structure is um, so when you're fishing when you're out looking for brush um, you don't have to look real hard there's a lot of brush on this lake find a point uh, what they call a community hole where a lot of people fish a big point on a map or a big ledge and just idle around until you see stuff like that and uh, mark it on your GPS so you can come back to it um, crappie love it bass love it um, and the more you the more you find them, the more you fish them, the more you'll get comfortable and confident with catching fish around them. Uh, but that's pretty much finding structure or what structure looks like, or brush and trees look like on your depth finder um, 101. So I hope you enjoyed it and uh, good luck, Brian Carper.